Welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with something that I haven't done in quite a while. I used to do different ones, various ones a little while ago and that was a dipping. And I've dipped on bubble wrap dip. So I'm going, I've got this bubble wrap which um, it makes sense that you dip with the bubbles upwards. It just adds a little bit of texture, I find, on your dipped artwork. So um, you get lots of this in packaging and things. So it's a really nice way to repurpose the bubble wrap. So I've cut out a piece to match my canvas and I've um, put, I've stuck it down because when you dip the canvas onto it and you lift it back off, then obviously you're not gonna lift your bubble wrap with, with the actual canvas. So this is the little canvas that I'm using for this particular one. I have um, put my masking tape on the back so it keeps it nice and clean. My push pins so I can lift it easy. So I just hammer those in those in and when you comes you just wiggle them out and of course your little pegs that lots of people say I don't know I didn't know what you use those for you find the they're like little stretcher pegs so you push your pegs in and they stretch your canvas for you so they've got the canvas nice and taut you push them in I just use my fingers mostly but you can certainly knock them in with a, a small hammer um, so that's what they are for. My push pins, which are great for underneath your canvas so you can stand it up. The online supplier Capriol Shabby Chic is in the drop down box for those. Um, so I'm all ready to do my dip. So I've got my dip, I can lift it and put it to the side. So I've got my paint, so I'll leave that over there for now. Leave that there. I've got my you beaut colours made up um, with a dip. I found that if you, you leave your paint just slightly thicker than you would normal, normally, because I find if they're too runny, um, they go muddy. The dip goes muddy. So um, let's give this a go because I haven't done it for a while, and I'm really um, I'm looking forward to it. So I've got cool red and warm red and what i like doing is a chevron pattern which is v's so you just do these v's don't think i'm going to fill this whole thing up well we'll see we will see so doing these v shapes i just find that this gives me a really nice pattern on my canvas the chevrons. A lady um, that hadn't done any artwork that seen my um, dipping on bubble wrap for a first artwork and, and she sent me a lovely photo of her attempt and it was gorgeous and it just reminded me how much I used to enjoy doing them and how lovely they turn out. So it gave her lots of encouragement on her art journey and she even sold a couple of her um, dips and just got commissions for more. So that's even better, you know, if you can sell your work, if that's what you want to do, or if you want to just do it for family, friends and gifts, then obviously that's great, great, great too. Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while. I was, I think I've definitely got, I have got videos there of dipping on crunched up foil, dipping on bubble wrap or dipping from canvas to canvas is quite nice too. Uh, looking for the thicker paints of the lot. So it's quite thick. I just know it seems to give a better result with a thicker paint. And you can, I've only prepared one canvas, but you usually can get two dips out of um, 
this so so the blue red and yellow if I add yellow it will probably turn it green but we will see Got the two reds in there that was cerulean blue um i might put in some of the dark navy this isn't so thick so i'm just a bit worried that this will not be the effect that i'm looking for but i'll try it i've got tip here Um, will I put green in? No. I might put a bit of yellow in there. It'll send some of it, it will send some of it green, I'm pretty sure. Nice and quiet here today, which is lovely. Peace and quiet. <laughs> I'm just creating. It's yeah, a lovely time. That might do. Well, I've got this deep purple. It's the like, very delicious. So I might do on my edges with that. Let's do a zigzag down the edges. I'll definitely have enough for two paints to dip in there. I might have to get another canvas quickly and do it. Just a one last, I'll put some white in. Probably less is best, so don't do as I'm doing. <laughs> I always put too much. Rightio. I may not have got this right myself because I haven't done it for such a while, but I'll just give it a go as you do. It doesn't matter if um, I could have maybe just coated the back of my canvas in what uh, the, the base of my canvas just in a white so it is already covered, but I've not done that, so we'll just give it a go. It is already pre gessoed my canvas, so you just give it a really firm press onto the bubble wrap. And then just press it out just to make sure the paint spreads all over your canvas that you're dipping on. Another good thing is to dip in one canvas to the other as well. You can make um, matching canvases. I find if there's any paint missing on the canvas underneath, you can just balloon it. So here we go, let's see what we get. Oh, that's turned pretty muddy. See, that's turned muddy. And that's muddy. I think the paints are too, um, they're not thick enough. Do the paints a little bit thicker. But you know that the best results I have with this is when I do it with poster paint rather than um, acrylics. So that's weird. But I'll just go over it with the heat gun. Yeah, it's gone a bit. It's a little bit muddy. I wouldn't... Um, 
yeah i think i need to have a retry on that and i need to thicken my paints up but anyway i've got a little balloon so anywhere that you can bits that have missed just give them a balloon kiss and it gives another nice effect in there actually that's bringing out some of the colors that are underneath so might be a good thing to do in this particular one so it's a dip and kiss It is pretty, but it is definitely turned a bit muddy. So I will, um, I'm going to have another go at this. I'm going to thicken my paints up. I'm going to do thicker paints or I'm going to try and get my poster paints out. That's probably what I'll do. But actually pressing your balloon in is lifting the colours from mud. So it's giving a nice effect. So just this little balloon that's just got a little bit of water in it and just put it over the tap and uh, put a bit of water in it. And then you can, you've got this nice little tool for balloon kissing. Uh, didn't want to kiss the lot because I wanted a, a dip, but it's bringing the colours up, so I prefer it like that. So my art room, my rules, my way. Well, that's different. It's actually better with the balloon kisses because it has definitely brought the colours back up to life. So I hope you like my effort and I will do it again sometime this week for sure. So, um, but if you haven't already tried the balloon dips on the... Um, bubble wrap please give it a go i'm going to go mix some poster paints and see if that works out better so cheerio for now bye